it activates. Oh no. Uh oh. So this is another demon summoning. Oh no. Quite the contrary. It looks to be a, a message. That requires blood. And in the standard Twitter, it looks like a projection. <laughs> A projection of the being with the, uh, a projection of the person with the golden silver eyes appears before you. Golden there, it's and just silver a silhouette. Eye? Yeah, it's just a the, silhouette, though. The kind of wraith person we saw in session one. That's what yep. I'm thinking. Oh no! Not good. So the plot thickens. You've managed to take out our first demon summoning. Well done. Thank you. And you're welcome. Them. No problem. But it's far from over. We are not just taking strategic points. We plan on taking the entire continent. And we if plan we... on stopping you. All in good time, my dragon the same boy. Time I kill last time. All in good time. However, there is something you must know. Our goal isn't to summon demons. Well, yes, it is part of our goal. There is something else to it that must be done for the world to be truly cleansed. Let me guess. Cleansed? Of what? Let me guess. Uh, uh oh. Summoning the deep ones, am I right? <laughs> Perceptive <laughs> as always. Demons can't cleanse anything. Oh, maybe not. But the sunken ones can. They were How do you right they now? Were... Demons are still demons. They'll just kill you for the heck of it. I'm pretty sure he already knows that, Protos. <laughs> or he's an idiot. <laughs> Might as well be. I mean, Protos has a point. <laughs> uh, where you would assume there to be no mouth, therein lies a big, glowing grin. Full on Cheshire Cat style. Uh, Ooh, uh -oh. Actually, not just Cheshire Cat, but Alistair. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad sign. Uh oh. Oh, that Alistair. So what? What's the yeah. point of telling us about your evil plan? Isn't that going to be counterproductive? Quite the you contrary. We can't stop him. This is more of a challenge. Someone's cocky. More like an egomaniac. Here's the challenge in question. You look for... You look for the temples and just try to stop us. And as soon as he says us, five more silhouettes show up on the projection. Um, One red? Yeah, is that, are the silhouettes in a humanoid shape or monstrosity I shape? I, I think he's just getting to that. Yeah, oh. it depends. One red? Sorry. One red and a bit of an average height. Uh, sort of like a human. A blue silhouette, which looks to be constantly shifting. A green silhouette, which is tall and thick. Well, I like them. And by thick, I mean muscly. 
<laughs> Just the way I like them. <laughs> a, a yellow silhouette that's tiny, but tiny and petite, but looks to be have, but looks to have wings of some kind. Like feathered or draconic? It's a silhouette. Insect? We were yeah. <laughs> well, Actually, wings have can, distinctive shapes. You can. You can pretty much tell that that's that looks like a fairy. Oh, a... oh. Huh? oh boy! And Fair and a white silhouette, which Protos remembers all too well. Uh, I do. A white one. The white si the white silhouette carries distinctive spectacles. And has something that's, and has that look that's just been burned into your brain. Protus uh, crooks his head like, uh, 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 why does that look familiar? He points out towards a white one, like, uh, huh? They cannot hear you. These are, these are merely projections. Actions of what? Of the people you'll be facing, of course. So what? Are you the like... people, the people that are going to be in your way. So what? You guys are like Team Rainbow or something? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Are you Team? Scott? I appreciate your humor, but no. I don't need to be humorous. You're already a joke in my eyes. Oh, you will him. listen here, you waste of an elf. Get burned. You are, you are Get under not his skin. going to. You are not going to stop us, but I still urge you to try. Mm. And really? this point, where? Why is that? And why should we do anything you say? Because if you don't, the world will end up destroyed. Well, you don't think but we're going to succeed what... either way, so it'll die either way. <laughs> you you want to destroy the world, but you want us to stop you from destroying the world. Honestly, I think this is just no. a scam. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. leans down to Miss Agatha and says, "I think he's gone mad." Or oh, that's for that is a axe to the head. Oh, <laughs> trust me. I am not doing this for, uh... I am not doing this for my own self-destruction. This... Are you, though? Is... This is merely <laughs> to get myself and you more of a challenge. You, so you know what's at stake. And me, so I know what to throw at you. Honestly, at this Until point, then, we shall meet in the heat of battle. And it's at this point where the right. silhouettes just stop. They just fade out of existence. Okay, uh, I'm probably just going to look at the orc. Hey. And talk. going to do a Gorn Rose non lethal, but to knock him prone on the ground. Okay. So, uh, so, so just just a headbutt? Yep. <laughs> In fact, I am. Let's see. Good old! And, uh. If y'all want to roleplay, uh, go right ahead. I need to, uh. I need to use the, uh, facilities. Okay. And, in fact. If an orc doesn't do anything, process trying to restrain the orc. Okay. Uh, well, that was an I need to use the bathroom too. I'll be right back. Well, that yes. just happened. <laughs> I need to use the bathroom too. Oh, goes. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> small break, everyone. All right. We should tie okay. this guy up. <laughs> Intermission. And we're back. Hello. An action. <laughs> We're back. And, We're all back uh, from the back. I hope you don't mind that little bit of a uh, dramatic tension. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Duck Team had to anyway. kill like five guys to get back here. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> wow. Five guys, the burger or joint? 
over the uh, short break, uh, Protos is wanting to uh, trying to get to the roll lock, uh, do hammering horns, and ten. Does a does a ten oh. work? Okay, uh, if you read this correctly, he needs to... Let me just double-check this. Let's see. Oh, and He's Newbie... Uh, and <laughs> after the whole thing, Newbie was uh, eating some popcorn and goes like, Eh, the effects were decent, but the writing was terrible. I know, right? <laughs> and, uh, and at that moment, the, uh, the portal just spits up a uh, final message, just more like... Shut up. I didn't have time to... <laughs> Shut up. I didn't have time to get really things planned. really got under his chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why you rolled? So delicate. We're following the art of war. If so your enemy... Seek to anger your enemy. <laughs> What's the quote? Hang on, where'd it go? Uh, I think that's what you're trying to say. <laughs> this, co and, this quote uh, is extremely uh, salty. <laughs> It's the eight okay, plus uh, five plus two equals fifteen. Nope, he. Uh, if I did my math correctly, nope. It, the DC will, for pros would be fifteen. So, yoink! That, that failed. Okay, so you tackle this orc to the ground that soon wakes up and she's like, ugh, ugh. "Ow! Oh, what happened? Where am huh? I?" Where? Why am I? Why? What are you doing on me, big guy? Wait, uh, take a Raising. Right oh shit! But, um, if I, I don't process, but, wait, you don't know where you are. Pros just stands up and looks and, at him. No, why? Welcome to the I brothel. Oh, uh, of course. Oh, where are you from? Man. Uh, I'm from Wellgrave. Oh. Is it that south of Fake Cove? Is uh, south southwest? Southwest, yeah. Oh. What day is it? Uh, in terms of like uh, an actual he knows. week. He's asking. Uh, like, no, he's asking the guy. The orc. Yeah, what's the last thing he remembers? You know what day it was. Uh. I don't know the. I don't know the last thing I was doing was trying to get stuff home to my family and then oh. then I wound it up Life here. Story. Oh, I swear, you're... I know nothing. Uh, he looks over to the others and says, Guys, I think this guy was under a spell or something. Looks like it. And, um, speaking, of, and speaking of a spell, you hear the cart starting to rumble. Uh, Protus turns his head, grabs the fork, and get away from the car. Pulls it away. And it starts shaking. It's gonna explode! Take down! I'm taking the orc with me. Like, you know, get away from you here. see rising up. Uh, wrong chat. <laughs> uh. And rising up from the, uh. From the car itself, it looks to be a beholder. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, now? No. Oh my <laughs> god! At our level, we can't catch a break. Just <laughs> and, and uh, it's at this point where you hear when you're about to hear the roar. Something comes towards you guys. What is it now? Uh, <laughs> Roll a deck save real quick. Everyone? Oh, everyone? Yeah, everyone. Oh god! Uh, do I see Why it? Can't <laughs> get a rest? Uh, do I just I want a bright. Come on! In fact, you see a bright light. Uh, uh, hold on! Chat, hold on! Uh, DM, wrong chat, do but, I hear uh, this coming? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Because I get advantage on deck saves if I see it coming. A yeah. It. <laughs> yeah okay. it's Can a, I just quote it's over a here? Bright, yeah, it's, a there. Bright, it's a big glowing ball of... It looks to be a great big glowing Ooh. ball of fire. Fireball? Duck! 
Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Goodness no. gracious. Oh. Oh. Uh, fire. Uh, Seventeen. Let's go oh. with that. Oh. Right, been nice knowing you, Paula. I did that wrong. Hang on. I rolled okay. five, even uh, with advantage. <laughs> Quick See, question. if I was if I was underneath two again, I'd be pissed. Quick question, DM. <laughs> yep. Uh, could What's I up? basically get in front of the people who failed the deck save and casting shield in front of me? Can I take most of the damage for them? You You're absolutely wizard. can. Don't die from it. <laughs> you can, but it's not aimed at you. Huh? Oh wait, don't I? Oh wait, I have a shield too. Can I protect the? Oh, was I what near someone I can protect? <laughs> Um, um, only people yeah, who are I'm in gonna, danger of, of I'm gonna a say fireball you're blast. Right next, I'm going to say you're right next to Paula. Ah, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only person who's near the Beholder is Paula's and the Orc. So we're in the it's... blast zone. I mean, you did say you ran away, right? Yes, I did. Uh, With the Orc. And uh, something about this. The fireball just whizzes over you, uh, uh, Protos. And, uh, as the Beholder has an open mouth, and the fireball flies in it. Uh oh Let's see. None of the fuck? <laughs> what and, the hell? Uh, and uh. why the deck save is there is because it explodes... And ah. you need oh, to make sure you... the shrap the uh, oh, the love shrapnel this. doesn't get you. <laughs> you mean the beholder guts? <laughs> yeah, the shrapnel beholder guts. The shrapnel of their beholder. Oh, the giblets. No. <laughs> the shrapnel. Oh, it's not. Like... So. Uh, or is it crispy? It's it's crispy. It's yeah. crispy and. Hmm. It's crispy and dull, <laughs> and uh, doesn't really. For a lot of you, yeah, it doesn't really do much. In fact, oh, since uh, since since newbie is protecting you, Paula, you're pretty much protected. And oh, thank God. Or uh, actually, maybe. And, uh, uh, actually, I think I'm a little too short to completely protect her. Uh, maybe I protect her legs. Okay. So basically, <laughs> I'm kind of imagining no! newbie like, protecting. <laughs> Like, newbie gets in front of Paula, and then I get in front of newbie, and I basically reaction cast shield to basically protect the three of us. Okay, so you three are all good. Oh my god. <laughs> so newbie's, the newbie's the oh. only one who's oh. just protecting oh, Paula's legs. Like a full-blown panic and, attack. <laughs> and then the shrapnel of the fireball, the card is destroyed too. Well, damn, there goes our eight clues. But... <laughs> But it's at this point where you yes. see the person who cast that fireball. And where did that came from? Fireball. Do I take any damage from I believe... this, you know, being in the splash zone? Uh, not really. The, uh, you the just holder took... kind of took the brunt of damage. You just, uh, like, took some all you... stink damage. <laughs> all, you, all you really get hit with is, uh, blood. Carlos just blinks, it's like... Okay, um... He looks <laughs> over towards Scaro and says, Thank you! That wasn't me! You guys behold that? <laughs> uh, and... Uh, I wish I did it! <laughs> and at this point... That someone comes out of... Uh, comes out of the forest. An old... Wolf, an old werewolf that that carries like an old wooden staff and what looks to be a broken sword. Who are uh, you? Thank goodness. I was afraid I'd have to do more cleanup. Uh, thanks for the uh. That. You're Is very this welcome, guy's a druid? Well. Actually, no. And you remember that werewolf from before? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Thank goodness. What? Oh. oh. Thank goodness. You're here. Okay. 
I was I was about to get your supplies for you, but now I see you. Now that I see you're here, I see it's all good. <sighs> still, you didn't yeah. have to. Still, you didn't have to come all this way just to just to help us, Sir Regis. Uh, Regis? I'm I'm Sir afraid. Regis. I'm afraid it was no. I'm afraid there was no other way, my friend. Anyway, as you may have heard from my uh, companion here, I am Regis, a uh, traveling mage, but mostly someone who, well, cleans up things like that. He points to the uh, the splat and the uh, big old splatter zone where the Beholder once was. Okay, so, I gotta say, either that was the most bloody Beholder we had to face, or his magic did some sort of crit damage. Or well, that's possibly one of the most powerful wizards we've seen to date. Yeah, well of the boots <laughs> as well. Yeah. Well. Well. You must be Scarrow Knight, right? The king's oh. told me much about you. You... I guess my reputation precedes me then. <laughs> Indeed. And I assume that your friends here are your current group? Ah, uh, do say so. And Regis puts a hand on your shoulder and says... Keep them close. I believe there will be more to this than you may realize. Oh, I know. Well, trust me, I know. And he walks over to every. He walks over to everyone, and uh, holds a hand out to Paula. It. Are you unharmed, my lady? I was nearly splattered with blood and guts. That I am fine. Paulus uh, walks I, over. You, you, you get, you, you get used to it. <laughs> uh, thank you for assist, sir. Paulus is uh, thinking to himself, where are these werewolves coming from? Aren't they supposed to be evil? Uh, In your thoughts, of Paulus. And, and Regis picks up on that. Hmm? Oh, oh, don't worry. Most of us, most of our kind are usually. Uh, usually in the right, in good terms, as long as you be nice to us. Or, you know... Uh, process raise an eyebrow. I didn't say anything. <laughs> you didn't have to. Oh. Huh? He can yeah. sense it. He can, he can read minds! Mind. <laughs> in, in any case... <laughs> I Put do believe I got brains. you in the nick of time. In any case, I do believe I've gotten here in the nick of time. It would be, it can even seem. <sighs> and I was so close to figuring out exactly who was that that creature. Creature. The. Uh, I assume you the, saw the, the mouthy the, one. Yes, <laughs> the man in the the man with golden silver eyes. Yeah, we're. I think we met her before. At the, the, what was that castle's name again? In Sesame? Uh, Castle Talonbright. Castle Talonbright. Castle Talonbright. Yeah. I think we met him at Talonbright. Yeah, were... we were trying to investigate there. And then... Things happened. You got it's into enough. more than, you got into more than you originally knew? <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Something is happening here that I don't quite know. Uh, let us go in. Let us go into town. I think I need to uh, explain a few things. Be nice. Uh, probably just gonna look at the the, half, the orc behind him. Um, you might want to come with us. Um, you might need to ask some questions. Uh. Sure. And and uh, 
Regis just says, Excuse me, where did you say you were from, sir? Uh... Well, grave, sir? Oh. Then, uh, allow me to just, uh, do something for you. Just so your family doesn't have to miss you so much. Right. And it's at this point where his staff glows and and the orc is being warped back to Wellgrave. And this is how a normal warping is supposed to go. The the ground begins to uh, catch fire, but it's just around it's just around the orc. And soon enough, he's gone. Oh. There's nothing bad. There's no residue of, like, anything bad happening to him. Just a teleportation that just so happens to be fire-themed. What did he get since from that fire? Oh, what did you do to him? Oh, don't worry. I merely sent him home. Oh. Oh, I okay. take it we're not questioning the guy. No. The man was uh, but when I talked to him, he was under some sort of spell, so he doesn't remember what since. Uh, I guess that was, he, my... I... that was my observation as well, my uh, my bovine friend. Bovine? What? Fair enough, I guess. It's another cab of bull. Ah. Unfortunately, it would seem that our that our little friend, that our mutual that our mutual enemy, just so happened to. Uh, there seems to be nothing that he would go to. In terms of well, giving giving dramatics. As, uh, as terrible as they were. Honestly, calling them through mana trick, calling them through tricks is just generous. Honestly, it's basically just like a child having a temper tantrum. <laughs> Unfortunately... He's not bad. Unfortunately... I think that was just one of his off days. And he just continues walking... Just to the pier. It looks like. And. What's he like on a good day? <laughs> Believe me. He's more intimidating. I've seen my fair share of evils, but. I'll believe it when I see it. Mm -hmm. You are well. You are correct in doing so. However, I was I was just coming here to have a little bit of, I would assume, a break. But if that was any indication, it seems I have more work to do here than I thought. Yeah, join the club. We don't get breaks. I really want one, though. You and me both, Paula. Wait, we have a club? What? Well, I assume that you would... I assume you'd get some form of... Uh, some form of break in terms of travel, would you not? I need a shower. We haven't gotten to take one. Oh. Uh, in that case... If you are so worried about hygiene, which I do not blame you for doing so, and it's at this point where I'm gonna say it narratively here, uh, again, narratively, uh, the w Regis just conjures what looks to be a little rain cloud above you, uh, Paula, and don't you dare! <laughs> yes, it dare. 
<laughs> and he just get, he just gives you a grin and just <laughs> douses you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Well, not way, well, you did but ask him is... for a shower. A shower! Not to get <laughs> rained on! Well, I guess you would say that our milady has been and the... soaked in. <laughs> and, uh, he does a few. He changes hands uh, to his staff and. As soon as the rain cloud goes away, he conjures a bit of like, like a small gust to uh, basically Cinderella you. And as it turns out, that rain cloud gave you just what you needed to actually get clean. In fact, rainbow you dry. <laughs> In fact, your clothes look noticeably cleaner than they were, like, uh, the first, like, compared to the first session and <coughs> the third, yeah, this is much cleaner. Is it orange scented? Don't think I'm going to forgive you for that little <laughs> stunt, though. Orange scented if I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, well, 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 there is a small well, well, participation, well, but I think this also works as well. <laughs> Well, I do believe that your, um, shall we say, diva is clean? <laughs> I don't like Bruno's! <laughs> yes. In any case. And Elrum is just like, wait, wait a minute. You're. You're the Sir Reaches. The... It is an honor. It's an honor. To... And he just, Regis just stops Elrum right there and just uh, puts a hand on his head. There was no need to bow. I am not worth that kind of uh, celebration, celebratory recognition. Uh, I mean, sure, but any anyway... Uh, so. Maybe you can conjure, like, some kind of wagon? I don't have to. And he points to a... He just points uh, a little ways back, and you see someone that looks like they're running a general store. How do we miss that? Some things are always hidden in plain sight. Okay. Oh, by the way, I what... assume you'd so like fairy oh. stuff. Mm, no, uh, the seller is human. <laughs> <laughs> but the store just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Actually, uh, you guys just haven't noticed him before. <laughs> He was just that forgettable. <laughs> but now, here's the question. We still don't know if Farblight is going to attack the town again while we're out of absence. Oh, don't worry. They won't get very far with me here. And besides, <laughs> my friend, uh... My friend that, uh... You... I assume you've met before... Is quite capable in, in a fight... And before you ask, no, it is not like a uh, normal werewolf. He functions somewhat like a normal being, a normal human or creature. Ooh, should we at least train the militia a bit? Because they really need help. And and uh, what, uh, DM, what yeah. day is it? Uh, or what uh, time of day is it? Is it like evening, night, afternoon? It it's like a late. It's like a late afternoon. Yeah. So like. Eh. So maybe we should uh, at least like try. Maybe we should. Should we try? Uh, training the militia a bit because they seem really crappy. <laughs> I noticed, but I I think I can 
handle them. There's some things that a mage can do that others simply cannot. Is that a knock against yeah, spiders? I, yeah. I'm not no, sure, like I just, that. no, I just say that in general. True, there are some things that people can't do that a wizard can, but there's also the same thing that there are some things wizards can't do that other people can. Quite right. The like training a militia? I have had experience in doing so. If you say so. So, uh, with the knowledge that the wagon seller... Actually, no. I'm sorry, I... Eh. That the general store guy is there. What do you guys do? Because I know... Also, also, also... Huh? When you were listening to Elrum, you actually got food. So, uh, don't worry about having to uh, do that. We got food? <laughs> yeah. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Yeah, Olin's eating right now. I mean, I was just yeah, eating popcorn did... during uh, that entire presentation with the uh, Fireblight dude, so... Okay. And, uh... And, uh... Noting the, uh, wag the, uh, general store guy, by the way, he seems to be doing his best to, uh try to get people to uh, buy his wares, but no luck. <laughs> oh. Poor, forgettable man. <laughs> every, back every background and anime character in existence. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... What, what's he got? <laughs> do you walk up to him? We'll do some browsing. Yeah. I guess I'll help out. Hey, how you doing? Eh. Uh, hey, welcome, hey, welcome to the general bad. store. I'm, hey, welcome to the general store. Where can I get you? Uh, how much is for your cart? Hmm. You know what? Some some people would like to try and shice a newbie like you with some fast talking and turn a quick buck, but I like you guys, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw you a wagon for a price of two, for the price of two, and for a, and for an extra fifty. And for an extra fifty gold, I'll throw in a, I'll throw in an ox for free. Did he just say a wagon for the price of two? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get two for the price of one instead? Oh, <laughs> he's trying to scam uh, us. Can we get one for the price of one? I. I'm sorry. Uh, them's the breaks, and uh, if you want to try and negotiate prices, you're going to have to do a lot better than uh, what you're doing right here. This is a very urgent... Well, if you want to try to scam us, you're going to have to try a lot better than that. And the Bailey, I think I can speak for all of us that we're basically saving the world here. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, saving the world. Uh, tell me a new one. Oh, well, but, I, I by the way, uh, is Proto still covered with the uh, blood of the Beholder? Yep. Okay, so I look like, Psst, hey, you see that Minotaur? You see how he's drenched in blood? Does he yeah. Imagine yeah. what happens if you get on his bad side. Imagine it could be yours. <laughs> yes, wins at this and um, smiles at his two feet sharp good. Imagine Roll if that would ha Imagine if that would happen to you. Let's see. Roll intimidation. Uh, I, I was. Uh. <laughs> oh. Can I wait? How, how does we check? Uh, should that be an advantage uh, since like we're all doing it? <laughs> since like yeah, we're doing can it. Yeah, I advantage? Guidance on that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, guidance. So roll again with advantage. Uh, yeah. Everyone roll with advantage. Or uh, wasn't it just one Everyone? of us? I think wouldn't yeah. it just be one of us with an advantage? We're all <laughs> trying to intimidate him, though. Yeah. Oh, and, all right. And Miss Avga yeah, gave so me <laughs> like um, if a guidance on you through with the um slash R one. Also, um, 
something you guys should, uh, something you guys should know. Uh, I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh! So, uh, oh. so we really oh. didn't need to do all this. We're just intimidating him further. Okay. Uh, kiss me up. I'm having I a guess, very bad uh... day. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay so, so mine is a 24. Point. <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, so. I'm pretty sure we're giving this guy a miniature scale high. I'm gonna say newbie. I'm gonna say newbie is the one that uh, spurs this. Uh, he goes from you. The general store guy takes one second to look around, and uh, <laughs> he realizes, "Oh shit, I'm talking to the wrong people." <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay. What happened? Okay, so basically, I'm for a new one. <laughs> basically, everyone's uh, going to this uh, general store guy to. Uh, Get a, uh, get a wagon. <laughs> so yeah, that. And, um... And you yeah, like, um... How's about to throw in uh, some fr some of those free, uh, decorative wall hanging stuff? Those decorative things you hang on the wall for while you're at it. Um... Uh, some sure. waifu posters. <laughs> Sure. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, well, uh, just just don't worry, just don't worry about the price. You, 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 you can you can take this one here for free. And he points you to a very finely built wagon. That oh, a very a very finely built cart that almost looks like it was made by the king himself. Ooh, ooh, ooh I think I've seen this in uh, Fast and Furious the Twelfth Remake. <laughs> oh, what? and uh, mm. by the look on his face, that's a theater show. Oh yeah, and something I should also add: right next to it is a hunk of junk. <laughs> that would have been what he <laughs> gave you. It's a good thing we have protos. <laughs> oh. Oh, so, uh, so I was pressing out. Okay, seriously, guys, what I miss? It is a big guy. Oh, don't worry about it. No, I'm asking out character. Yeah, yeah, he's oh. asking out. <laughs> no. So... Yeah, I, I got Protoss that was just part. sort of I... scary by proxy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I yeah, yeah. Well, the guy tried scamming us, and now we're using Protoss. <laughs> Yeah, the guy, the guy was trying to scam us to, like, overcharge for a shitty cart, and we were like, ah. hey, see how that guy's covered in blood? <laughs> oh, okay, so this salesman was trying to scam us. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, so now we're threatening him. And... In, fact, oh. in, fact, uh, in fact, can I describe the cart? Yeah, alright. Sure. Yes. Yeah, go no. ahead. Please do. On top of the very shoddy look to it, uh, it it has a floor. It has two floorboards missing. <laughs> a uh, one of the, the wheels car is like broken. That. One of the wheels is broken, <laughs> but all the wheels share one thing. They're all octagons. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? You have and, got to be kidding me. And also, why are the axles is almost broken? Wow, what a scumbag! <laughs> so yeah, you take. So yeah, you take the nicer one, hands down. <laughs> for free. I feel sorry for the best that's gonna get stuck with that one. Oh, uh, just from that alone, you can tell condemned. he's got. You can tell from that that noise alone, he's the one that's gotta drive that now. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Good guess we're trying to scam us. <laughs> oh, this looks like in Selby Rose. Oh, I should probably get this beholder board off of me. Oh, allow me. And. And, uh. You know that one scene in Cinderella? 
Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of no. I know, when you I are know dead for Apollo. I know that is exactly doing. not what he does. He ends up doing. He ends up doing. Yeah, press press the digitation. He actually does something with his hand. He actually does something with his hands this time. His hands. His hand glows, and one by one, the uh, every like bit of blood on you. It just starts to peel off you, just, just, and, uh, for the first time in your life, and, uh, this happens to everyone, except, except Paula. For Paula. Except <laughs> for Paula. I'm already clean. And, <laughs> and for one, for the first time in your life, everyone, it, Everyone is actually fully cleaned. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I, I, haven't, mm. I haven't been this clean in feeling. ages. Yeah. Oh. Feels weird. That's concerning. We're often. Look, I'm clean. I'm sure I like this. I know. And, what is uh, wrong with all of you? Why is this so concerning? <laughs> in fact, oh. in fact, Owen, yeah, your fine. muscles. In fact, your arms are shiny. <laughs> oh Work dust is good for you. It builds care. Ruffin, Ruffin, my muscles. You are all so messed up. <laughs> Ruffin, my muscles. <laughs> so Ruffin. shiny and smooth. Oh. I feel a little are cold okay? without that extra oh, dust oh, on me. Oh. Hmm? I won't need okay. to go back for another month or two. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Uh, <laughs> Let's just say that preparations have been made. Uh, can, can we say that preparations have been made for you guys to leave town? Uh, yeah. Should we, yeah. should we yeah. rest yeah. first? Oh. It's almost night, and we haven't rested since the battle with the Wasp Queen. Well, I will well, say. Took an offer of Wasp Queen. And, God damn it, my. Nothing hmm? oh. just. Eat. I want to say before we go to basically get back to the bar, uh, before we leave the shop, seller alone, I'm just going to basically take out a single gold coin and just going to flip it over to him and says, keep the change. And then we just like... <laughs> <laughs> the general <laughs> store guy says nothing. <laughs> he's, just, he's just... He's just flabbergasted. Just imagine just <laughs> like, just just flips a coin, this guy was just like, keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the change. And he just keep like, the change, you, you keep, filthy keep, animal. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> keep the change, you filthy capitalist. <laughs> oh, and, and as we leave, <laughs> nice. and as we leave, uh, Nubin makes sure to uh, jingle uh, their bag of jewels that they picked up from Talon Prime too. <laughs> you, yeah. Man, we are. Oh come dead. on! I know you're talking me. <laughs> Olin still can't get over the fact that his muscles are so shiny. I think I can see my own reflection on them. <laughs> He's yeah, looking at his muscles. Oh my god, I could see myself. <laughs> and, uh... That's kind of distracting. During your, <laughs> during your preparations to leave, Protos, you're basically briefed by, uh, Elrum that, uh... You're basically briefed by Elrum the route to go to Wellgrave. He's a gun at the moment. Okay. So, oh, uh, is, oh, is, is Elrum and... Is this... this yeah, Protos is, this... is uh, given the directions. Uh, oh, is Elrum and Peters... Is, uh, uh... Are all these preparations the next day? Like, what, what's the time frame now? Okay, actually... Actually, you know what? Yeah, you guys are... You guys take a uh, night to uh, go into the uh, the Feymont Inn. Oh, okay. And uh, now here's your long rest. Oh, Thank God. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so is Elrum and Keter, are they coming with us or are they staying here in Faco? Can we, uh, can we do that? I want to do something for that. Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, um, so wait, 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 what are we doing? We wait. What what are Protos? 
quick question. While we're taking a long rest, can I be able to try to do a spell? No problem. 